What? There's no way at that speed that we would pounce, bounce like that. No way. You're wrong, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Flight Sim 2020, coming up. Hey, 7.4 crew, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Kelsey. I'm a 747 pilot. My channel, 7.4 Gear, is all about aviation. In the last flight sim video I did earlier this year, I said I was gonna wait until I got a throttle control in order to do my next flight sim video, and that's coming. So now I have that, and I have downloaded Flight Sim 2020. I asked a buddy of mine who's a flight simmer and a pilot what I should do for this video, and he said, in this Flight Sim 2020 game, there's some landing competitions. So he said, do those. I wanna see how you do. So he showed me where to go to get those, and you're about to see my first two or three landings on Flight Sim 2020. Let's get into it. All right, so. Here we go down to activities and landing challenges and uh, I guess we'll do famous and then well there's only one 747 option that's JFK which I've done like a million times in real life as well so let's go down here fly All right, landing smoothness depends on your vertical speed, vertical, oh, feet per minute, okay. 160, 140, kind of slow, but all right. Touchdown, closer to the target, the more points you get. I guess the target's gonna be, what, the thousand foot markers? All right, I guess we're gonna see. And. Wind is 340 at 15 knots. Seems pretty mild. <laughs> pretty mild. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this hoodie, this, I actually had a different shirt on, and uh, this is actually what I wear when I actually fly in real life. Let's see here. Um, does this just go, or do I have to? This is actually a hoodie that I wear in real life, so I thought, oh, I'll just put this on and make me kind of comfortable. So, how do we, how do I get up? Um, there we go. Oh, I guess I got my flaps out. There we go. They have this saying, you'll hear, uh, usually you'll hear more at the regionals where we're flying a lot. They say, if you're not clacking, you're slacking. And that, uh, get these auto brakes up to max. And the landing gear down, that'll keep us slowed up. Uh, they say, if you're not clacking, you're slacking. And that, that basically uh, means that you're over speeding. But when you're doing regionals and five, six legs a day, you're, you're trying to go quickly. So that's, if you ever hear that you're not clacking, you're slacking, that's a real thing. All right, so it looks like we're kind of lined up with the runway gears down. I got max auto brakes now, if you ever do fly a Boeing product, Boeing airplane in real life, max auto brakes is going to be pretty uncomfortable for the passengers, so don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> but I, I'm obviously, tr I guess I'm trying to stop as quickly as possible, so I, or in the zone, so. Uh, let's see here, how, why is it? I had the uh, light spoilers up. I'm just kind of getting used to all this stuff, and since we got a little bit of a crosswind and I don't have rudder pedals, I'm kind of realizing now that I'm gonna need those. I'm just gonna use rudder trim, to try to make us go straight, and that is the wrong direction. And now I'm over speeding again. I'm an amazing pilot. You know, the thing is, is, is no normally in real life you would trim trim the aircraft to give the descent rate that you would want. And this you actually kind of have to give it some feedback. Are we on glide path? You can't even really see the pappies. In real life, it's very easy to see, see the pappies, but let me just, I know this thing is displaced quite a bit. So where is the? Okay. Drift down towards the middle here a little bit. There we 
There we go. Okay, that's pretty close. Now go back to the middle. No, to the... What? No! In that other game, I don't know if you ever saw me play that other game, but you, since I didn't have rudder pedals, I could use the ailerons to, to steer. Um, clearly it does not work for this plane. In, in real life, truthfully, if you have a crosswind, you do... Uh, get back over here, ready to fly. In real life, you do uh, want to turn your ailerons into the wind. Obviously, not enough to slap your wing down on the ground, but you still get the idea. All right, so um, we're lined up here. We'll go back. Let's auto break it again to max so I can stop. Okay. Auto break it to max. And we'll get the gear down. I can do it, I swear. Get the gear down. Down. All right. All right, so I think we're all kind of set up here. I was kind of, I, I, I get this, uh, oh, I the flaps out. And I'm going way too fast. Slow this down. You would generally not be going this fast, this low. Um, 1,000. And normally with the gear out, you would. Uh, Now we're configuring, nice and nice and light. Let's see what it looks like from back here. I figure maybe that way I can make sure my wing doesn't hit the ground. I can just kind of bank it over a little bit, and that'll keep it down the middle. I'll try a different strategy. Okay, we're 157. That's about right. 160. Normally we have a, a set. Uh, bugged speed that we're going for 400. and this I'm not quite sure what it is nope, nope I'm too much running well I'm high 100 oh, I, I kind of nosed it over there to get it Different. All right, I'm just digging it over. What? Go towards the middle. The, there's no, there's no way with this amount of wind that I'm getting pushed off the runway. Oh, but it counted. Three hundred eighty-four thousand. Okay. Off the. Landed on the taxi, landed on the grass, but uh, still counts. Well, the, the bar has set pretty low. I, I think I need to do another one because, yeah, landing in the grass, that's not really, uh, not really my thing. All right, so uh, next. I don't need to hit anything else, right? No. And then restart. And continue. And if you ever want to see what uh, what setup I have and all the stuff that I have, I'll put a link to all the stuff that I have down below for my computer and the yoke and throttle, all that stuff. I'll put a link to it down below if you're ever curious. Um, I know a lot of you wanted to see me do some flight sim stuff, so I got some cool stuff to do this. So do JFK again and ready to fly. All right, so now we're oh, we're, at, we're starting outside. Um, go back and do it again. Okay, 
If you're not clacking, you're slacking. All right, let's max this and that. I don't know why there's always some lights when you, it's always bright over here when you put the gear down. There's no lights on the door. I don't know why that would be like that, but. I'm gonna try to land from the outside um, again. If I can do a better job. All right, so we're all configured up, basically. A little, a little slow. So our, you know, on this, I, it showed what 160 on the approach, 140 on final. I guess that's what they're going for. In real life, that that speed changes all the time. You know, you might be really light, and or, or after having flown a long flight, when you took off a lot of fuel. You might be landing at you know 125, or you might be really heavy and landing a lot faster than that. So it's it's no set weight. Like in a lot of smaller planes, you're going to be pretty much at the same ref, the same approach speed. The landing speed will always be the same. In 7.4, it's always it's always changing, and it's also changes based off your flap setting. So I don't know how they know I'm going to always do flaps 30 because we land in 25 or 30. It seems like I'm really have really nose pitched up attitude I'm really slow. Oh, it's got some trim it's so far back. One thousand. I seem to have at least a good landing in the middle of the runway and then that, that should count, that should be good enough. All right, so we're at the 140-ish speed. We're fully configured, and our gear's down. Right? Yeah, put the gear down. Yeah, I can see it. And got a pretty normal descent rate. Fast. See, in in the real plane, you actually. that speed that we would pounce, bounce like that. No way. You are wrong, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. But I'm staying on the runways. All right, so this rudder trim thing does work. That was kind of a hard landing, but not so hard to bounce in the air like that. Definitely not that speed. But okay, so the rudder trim does work. 18,000? No. Okay. I was only going to do like two, but what the landing smooth is five. Okay. Now we're doing another one. There's no way. There's no way that I can finish this video off like this. Um, Truth, truthfully, when you're landing on a, on a 7.4, even if you have a hard landing, you're, you're not gonna bounce like that unless you're going really fast or unless you chop the power and you really sank very hard. And, I, and neither of those two things happened. We were going kind of a normal speed so it wouldn't get back up in the air like that. Oh, I'm back outside. And I'm fast. And I'm descending at 3,000 feet a minute. Oh. And hold on. Now everybody's throwing up in the back of my plane. This is awesome. Okay. Welcome aboard 74 Gear Air. All right. So, something's a little strange here. Like I said, when, when, you're, when you're flying this plane in real life, you use the trim to give your something like your descent rate, the speed that you want. But here it seems they, they want power, which isn't quite exactly how it works. But, um, uh, why, why I want to let him me do the gear. Okay, here we go. There's the lights for the landing gear. 
max auto brakes I can see outside. I'm kind of getting the hang of this. This is, uh, well, maybe I'm not quite getting the hang of it. I'm, if you have if you have the gear go down if you have the gear go down like that and you don't change the power setting which I, really you're not going to over speed this gear really it slows down the plane a lot if you really want to slow it down you're going fast they say when in doubt throw the gear out because uh, especially on 74 it's so big and you got 18 tires out there they slow you down a lot all right so we're doing 180 a little bit fast. Perhaps 30 gears down. I'm gonna get this thing straightened out a little bit. It's kind of fun. Normally, normally when I'm doing a simulator, I have someone sitting behind me judging me, and they are always like writing stuff down. I don't know what they're writing down, but you always feel like you're being judged. Although, I guess now that I think about it, all of you are judging me, so it is what it is. All right, this looks pretty good. We're actually a little bit right, low, I think, though. Four, speed's bleeding off. Okay, I think we're a little bit low. Yeah, no, all right. Speed's coming off. All right, now get this straightened up with the rudder. Better? 50, 40, Other way. 30, 20, okay. 10. Get in there. Get in there. Rudder get down the middle. This rudder trim thing actually is working as my steering. It, it's actually really good. If you don't have rudder pedals, this would definitely be the way to go. So I didn't bounce. I didn't quite hit the thousand foot markers. It was kind of a firm landing, I, I think, just based off of the, the countdown. 942. I wonder what the t what's the most that you can get. Okay. Times it. Man, I'm gonna have to go to the gym now because I, I'm supposed to go earlier. But I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna work out, come back, and I'm gonna have to play this until I get a million. Now that I know a million's even possible. Uh, but it got better. This is actually really fun. If you want to see some really bad landings in real life, take a look at this video here. If you want to see Hollywood's version of Terrible Landings, take a look at this video up here. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.